What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. It's so ironic to me that we go from the grocery haul right into what we can presume is food she cooked with the grocery haul, but we don't get the cooking videos. And I think that's going to be kind of the topic of this video is, is Chantal trying to create content? Or is Chantal trying to find excuses to eat what she wants on camera? We start with a hamio plug. This video is only 12 minutes. She says that the food is getting cold. She's annoyed. She has a massive plate of chicken. She has the rest of the pickled garlic and some olives. Now, she says this is homemade gravy. She tells us that she cooked the larger of the two frozen chickens, so there are more drippings. She then gives us the recipe for the gravy, which is chicken drippings, butter, flour, chicken stock, and her secret ingredients, sweat and disappointment. I, I'm, I'm sorry, ketchup. Ketchup is the secret ingredient. I don't know how to explain this other than she eats very angry in this video. Now, she says that this is poutine, and she's from Canada, so she would know that better than most of us, but the reality is this is basically pulled chicken, roasted potatoes, mozzarella cheese, covered in gravy. Even as an American, that just really isn't poutine. I, I think almost, as I said in the beginning, this is her trying to find a reason. What can I do to cover food and gravy and sit and eat it? I know, roasted chicken poutine. You don't even have fries. I mean, you could have technically, if you really wanted to, have omitted the chicken for turkey and added corn to this, made it mashed potatoes instead of roasted, and made like a Thanksgiving bowl, right? You'd be a week ahead of time, but you'd be better off if you wanted to do something to connect to your audience. We get this massive edit into the video, and, you know, honestly, four minutes in, and there's really nothing than a floor feast. She talks about going out. She has to go out today, okay? That's what's created this urgency and this anger to eat. She talks about before when they would go out, you know, her day would brace yourself, revolve around food. You know, where they would go, what they could get from a takeout place, what offerings there might be. But now, things are better. Because she's eating this massive meal and packing snacks. The fact that she's sitting there actively thinking about, I have to eat this, what must be, extremely calorie-dense meal. So that I can, you know, prepare myself to go on a car ride. You know, we're not talking about, remember last year around this time, talking about going up, you know, Mount Everest and hiking. We're not talking about preparing your body for something that's going to be strenuous or a sporting event. We're talking about a, a long car ride. To that point, she says, anyone that looks at this and thinks she uses a lot of gravy, they just don't understand how good her gravy is. Then she starts to talk about Julia. We get a video of Julia playing in the grocery bags. And to be honest, Chantal, we are all over this cat. You know, the cat, to me, looks like it's matted in some places. We know that you're not properly caring for the cat. We've sat here and watched you spend two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars in groceries over the past four to eight weeks, buy a brand new vehicle, and then now you're sitting here and you're talking to us about an animal that you're not taking care of properly? Why? Because you want to infuriate your audience? Speaking of infuriating audience, she goes into this rant about Netflix increasing its prices. I mean, I just can't imagine where she comes up with these topics. Like, is this really what's kind of engulfing her day? She said she's fine with this at first, right? She's fine paying for the version with ads. But then a show gets interrupted. She has nothing to do all day, right? The ads, which, by the way, she buries all through her own content. She talks about how it's annoying to deal with them. So she pays to get the ones without ads. Imagine you're trying to watch her eat food on the floor for 12 minutes. You can't do so without three ads put in. And you've got her complaining to you about how embedding ads into a professional series that you're paying to watch is an annoyance. She then goes back 
to this unsolved mysteries arc, telling us for the, it has to be, third or fourth time, that we have to watch these new remakes. She's doing nothing with this. That That's what frustrates me the most. She's sitting there, she's talking about the original one, she's talking about the, the Rescue 911 show that was kind of like in the same vein. She's singing the theme songs. Chantal, again, I'm going to offer you a little bit of advice. If you are so ingrained in Unsolved Mysteries, okay, and you know that this is on Netflix, that a lot of your viewers have it, why aren't you going out and doing Watch Along with your VIBs? Why aren't you watching those episodes and instead of kind of recanting random internet stories or things that you think are going to go viral, why aren't you having a 30-minute, 40-minute mukbang? Not full of you eating food, but full of you watching a show, talking about a show, engaging with your audience. Instead, as I talked about in the beginning, it seems like we're just using content as a reason to justify satisfying our, I really can only say fix for food at this point. This is honestly the first time I felt kind of odd watching her eat because it feels like she's eating for a reason other than being hungry. She dispatches this entire plate in almost no time. And if you watch it, it's almost as if she's unaware she's eating. I said this about her live stream last night when she had the chips and the cheese and it just, you watch her eat and you can just tell it's mindless. You can just tell it's someone going through the motion of, there's food in front of me, I have to eat this food. I have to clear this plate. I have to eat everything here. You're not enjoying it. She's not stopping and talking to us specifically about what she enjoys about the meal, or what memories the meal is invoking, other times she had this, anything about cooking it. It's just merely, I have to get through this plate. And what brought this on, other than, to her own admission, was a craving and the fact that she was going to have to go out. So imagine you tell yourself, hey, listen, holidays are coming up. I'm going to go out. I've got some holiday shopping to do. Before I go out, I better eat because I don't want to have to be worried about getting something while I'm out, maybe paying a premium price, going through a drive through stopping at a Starbucks, paying a lot for a coffee. So I'm going to make a meal at home. Then I'm going to plow through it as fast as I can, get myself in the car, pack a couple snacks, and then go on the way. And the reason I know Chantal had a big issue during this video is at the end of it, she says, thanks for having dinner with me. And then she asks for us to wish her luck avoiding the drive through Chantal, this was not your dinner. This was your pre-shopping snack, if you will. So the fact that you're, again, sitting here and trying to justify what you're doing find a little bit astonishing. We are all watching you meet your demise by doing this and seeing you justify it various ways. If you think this is too much gravy, you should try my gravy. If you think this is too much to eat, I'm trying to do better and not stop at drive throughs I didn't have a choice but to eat all this food. Me and Sal are about to go on a long road trip. I wanted poutine. I made a better choice because this is roasted potatoes instead of french fries. They didn't have cheese curd, so I went with mozzarella cheese. This isn't fried chicken. It's roasted. I made the gravy, so now all of a sudden I'm in control of the ingredients. Therefore, it must be healthy because I used ketchup. Ketchup has tomatoes in it. It's a vegetable. This is a vegetable gravy. That's how I feel about what she's doing. Appreciate you guys watching this video. All the comments, the likes, the views, the interactions. The super thanks that I've got over the past couple days. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. Appreciate you again. And I will be back as soon as I can with more content.